Hello again, and welcome to our new season of classes here at Belconnen Arts Centre. I'm going to invite Deborah in a moment just to tell us what our new theme is, but before that, a reminder to make sure that your chair is stable, that you've got uncluttered space around you, and of course, most importantly, that you dance today with the body that you have today. So anytime you need to rest, take a rest. Anytime you want to do movement that's different than what we're doing, then of course, do that. But Deborah, can you tell us what the theme is for this group of classes? Yes, so we are using different kind of transportation and we're traveling around the world. Oh, so lovely. The theme is this, uh, we will be inspired by beautiful music again and uh, we wish you to enjoy, to take out the best of it, to modify the movement to your needs and make sure you always have some water nearby where you can have a sip of water whenever you need, take your breaks. We will call out this as much as we can and yes, I think I'm ready to start. So right. let's go with Aurora, the first song. It's a gentle warm up. Just follow me, but I'm gonna give you a few movements instructions. So we're gonna start like this. Tummy in, shoulders down, nice and relaxed. Make your feet stay firmly on the ground. And we're gonna have three breath, one small with the arms to the side, one medium and one large or big. We're going to roll the spine forwards, chin to chest, head to knees, and up. We're going to move the head back and forwards and maybe side by side. And then we're going to focus on the legs and gently lifting one leg at the time and creating some gentle circles with the feet just to get started. Same with the other leg. And then we're going to gently guide the leg around just to smoothen our joints. And then a final big breath. All right, I'm ready with the music. Let's give it a go. Hands to the side. And here we go. Breathe in. Good start, everyone. What a beautiful <laughs> piece of music. Yes, beautiful. I guess it's from Gladiator or Troy, one of those beautiful films of the Roman Empire. Wonderful. All right. Good. So we're going on a river journey now. Awesome. For our next warm up. This is a Billy Joel song, The River of Dreams. And the chorus, or the, I think it's actually the verse, it's quite full of movement, so I'll go through it slowly. Yeah. We're going to start by going one hand and then the other, like you're creating a middle line, one and the other. And we're sleepwalking, one side and the other side 
and first and second. Reach way up and down, mountains and valleys and up, and then scoop down and up. Hands on left. Look over one shoulder and center, other one. First one and center, second one and center. Reach out wide, the river is so, so wide and it's too wide to cross. Come back in again. So that's our verse and we'll do it a few times. Just go over those movements one more time. We've got the center line, sleepwalking, mountains and valleys, looking over one side then the other and two more times. Wide river and it's too wide to cross. Then we've got a whole bunch of walks and I've come up with three different walks that we'll do each one in one of the courses. So the first one is pick up your shoulder and take that leg forward, pick up the shoulder, bring it back. Other side. And we'll do a whole bunch of those. So make it nice and light and easy. The second walk that I've created, not, this one's not going to get us very far, we're going to open an elbow and a knee, and in and an elbow. The third one, see if I can get this right, one hand and the opposite leg and the torso comes forward. And the only other thing you need to know is your hands, your fingers get to walk all over yourself and all over your chair, and your feet get to walk on the earth. All right, I think we're ready to go for Billy Joel's The River of Dreams. Find your feet on the floor, lengthen up through your spine. Take a deep breath in. Keep breathing. Let's start with the fingers, very small movement. Now the feet. Barely take them off the floor. Squelch. Sleepwalking. Mountains and valleys.
walk with your feet now. How far away from your chair can you go? You're underneath your chair. And we take our fingers as well. Come all the way back home. There we are. Well done. That was great. So if you need a sip of water now, please go ahead. While I'll be giving you new instructions for a lower body exercise. So the ingredients for these movements are the following. We are going to eventually hold to the chair so that you are feeling supported. And with one leg at the time, we do this movement because we're dancing to bicycle from Queen. Ah. So you need to cycle and that's our transportation mode for this moment. Then we also are going to do sharp movements such as this. Open and close, in, opposite, in, side, in, side. In. Yeah, very good. At a certain point of the song, the music will change completely and we can hear bells. And then is when we use upper body hands to catch the sounds all over us. There might be moments where we get excited like this and when we're gonna jump and ride our bicycle as far as we can. Ooh, crazy, 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 crazy. Yes. And maybe there might be some moments to create a circle and a circle here. You know, I think we have most of the ingredients. So, Jackie, let's put on the music and dance. Sounds good. So, so we're going to start with cycling with one leg this way and then even the other way. Great. And. Bicycle. One. Bicycle. Two bicycle. big ones. Other leg. One. Little feet, half point, point, half, down, half, point, half, down, push, 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 sharp movement, front back, in, front back, in, sides, in, sides, in, little bow, repeat with the legs, and front back, opposite, side, side, and bow. Strong tummy, strong core. Ready and bow and back. One cycle. Other leg. Breathing in and down. Reverse the cycling. In same leg. One and another one. Breathe in. Other leg and cycle in. Once more. Ready? A bit of excitement. Keep going. Push the ball. Straight and cycle. One, two, three. Change. And one, two, three. Change. Breathing in. in front, up, back. It's time to jump on the bicycle and go! Cycle as fast as you can. Curve one side, center, other side. Move your arms if you want. Woo! Relax. Front, back, and side. Cycle in, cycle in, 
cycle and change. And one, two, three, and one more, and one more. Breathe it in. Push out. One last time. Arms up to the side and cross. Awesome, well done. Ah, we hope this has already started to make you a bit more warm, huh? Made me a bit more warm. <laughs> me for sure. I love that. Oh, riding my bike. Yes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I feel like a child sometimes when I do this. <laughs> as long as we enjoy, that's the most important thing. Most important. Yeah. Great. So, mm -hmm. what's next? Now we're going to do a hitchhiker dance. Oh, yes. So if anyone's been hitchhiking in their younger, wilder days, this song might bring back some memories for you. Yeah. We're going to start by lifting one elbow up and the other down. So you're tilting over to one side and then circle your hands around each other and go from one side to the other. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extends the arm that's low down to your leg, the other one on top. The top arm, make a big circle or a small circle, any kind of size of circle that you would like two, three, and four. And then clasp both hands together, take them down towards the ground, and diagonally up towards the ceiling. And then little fingers and thumbs, one, two, I'm thinking about the bugs on the windscreen of the car, <laughs> and four. And you'll see that I'm over twisted to one side, pick up the elbow, and we go to the other side. Circle, circle, circle. This is a very abstracted driving. And Absolutely. Wheels. Not quite sure what was happening as I was thinking about this one. <laughs> and then the long road. And the wheels go round and round and round and round. And deciding where we're going, we're going all the way down there, all the way up there. And we've got bugs on the wind screen. So that's the verse, and we do it a bunch of times. The chorus, this is where we get the hitchhiker happening. Thumb, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thumbs towards each other, one up and one down. Towards each other, one up and one down. And then can you just, how oh, those thumb circles are very good. This is so <laughs> they funny. Circle those thumbs around each other. <laughs> and down. In the instrumental, we've got time to do some hitchhiking movements do some thumb pressing anywhere that you would like. So maybe decide where you're going to go and we'll be on the road seeing who's going to give us a lift. Thank you. Find your feet on the floor again, lengthen up through your spine. Did I say John Denver? John Denver. Here we go. And Lunge down, reach up, bugs on the window, other side, big circle, lunge down, and the bugs, get that thumb ready. <laughs> if you do this, will they get you? Who knows? From the beginning. Get 
for my teacher and friend. I've been through oh. years of thumbing, and I might call them bumming, and better than just crying in the wind. If you're driving down a road and you come across an old man, old man is thumb in the rain. You can't All the way down there. This was great exercise. We really moved all the upper body. We had fun and we might have got somewhere because if you've been following me now, we are at the seaside for the ah. next exercise. Yes, yeah, so great lit up. I got my ride and the ride took me right in front of the ocean. So for this dance, the most important thing is that we are practicing coming up from the chair and sitting down. So this is very important. So let's go through the best way to do this. We are sitting back straight, hands on our lap. We lean the body forwards, we press against the knees, we push and we transfer the weight all the way up. And then make sure you give a look back, see if the chair is there and we transfer the weight back. In this dance, we are going to do this movement in three versions. Small, when you just come up, but then, no, no, you decide to go back. A medium, which actually takes you up to straight, and then you look back, and you go back. And a high level, because we go up, and then we lift and reach the arms, and we get a stretch of the body, yeah? Because we are doing this sitting by the beach, in front of the ocean, we are going to do some actions like putting sunscreen, which is improvised a bit, putting sunglasses, a hat, playing maybe with the sand. And once we're standing, while well, Jack is giving us a seated version, so if you don't want to come up standing, please follow her. But once we're standing, we might go on the spot for a little walk. And by the end, for those who feel brave enough, we're gonna do a few steps relaxed, and then feel the water coming under our feet and that will be the end of this dance. So Lungo Mare is the title of this song and here we go, let's play the music. Breathing in and out, nice and relaxed. Way. Let's put the sunscreen. Put it wherever you feel. Back, that's hard. Chest, legs, down to the feet. Very good. We have a bag on the side. Let's get the sunglasses. And on the other side, there's a hat. Reach up. Chair is there. And let's 
get ready for a swim. So we practice the arm strokes. And how about leaning back and practicing some leg movements? Maybe a cross. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Find your way back towards the chair and have a rest. Well done. Good. Just imagining that beautiful blue water. Oh, yes. And in my imagination, it's warm. Yes, it is, <laughs> even though we're getting towards the, towards the a cold season. Yeah. But we can still use our imagination and feel wonderful, can't we? Yes. So Good. take another drink if you need to. And we are going to come and stand behind our chair for those that would like to. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to stay sitting, Deb is now going to offer a seated version. Seated yes. version. So coming to behind our chairs, and we're going from being at the beach to back in the Enlightened Festival with all those fabulous hot air balloons. Wow. And if you were with us when we did the theme of transport and travel a few years ago, you might remember this one. So we're going to start with our feet parallel just like you were doing when you were standing and sitting with Deborah a moment ago. Be long through your legs and long through your spine. Then simply bend your knees, keep those thighs over your feet and stretch them. Bend and stretch and then go over to one side, take a step out and come in. Other side, step out and come in. Two bends and stretches again. And we step out to the side. You might want to go to the side that you did second. And then the other side and in. Take a moment to again feel your feet and your toes on the floor. Float up through the crown of the head. Rise up and down and up and down. Scoop down. Grab that beautiful silken canopy, throw it up in the air, and there's your hot air balloon as you come down. What a lovely image. Isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. One day I'm going to go for a ride on a hot air balloon. Me too. That's in my to-do list. In your to-do list. Very good. <laughs> and then we take our legs out to the side. So have them about the same distance apart as the legs of your chair. And you might want to turn your toes away from each other. Just make it easy for you. Bend and stretch again. One. And two, slightly different as we are here. Take a big stretch over to the side and come up. So just one side. And bend and stretch twice in the middle and then go to the other side. We've got the two rises again. And bend down, pick up that canopy, throw it up into the air and come onto your hot air balloon. Then I'm going to turn, my feet are parallel again and I've got some room just in front of me. So I'm diagonal to the chair. The leg that's furthest away from the chair, just float it up and take little circles. Just a few. And put it down. Change to the other side. Pick that leg up. Little circles. And down. First side again. Second side again. And I think that's all we need to know. We'll come back to parallel and do some more bending and stretching. So as Deb was getting the music for us, Find parallel, feel your feet into the floor, and imagine you're just a little bit taller than you were when you woke up this morning. Thank you. Here we go. And bend your like to Stretch over to one side. Bend. Step out the other side. One leg bend. Repeat. Bend. Feel free to sing along if you'd like to. Now float up. Run. Over to 
one side. Take your time. Two bends in the middle. To the other side. Float upwards. Leg feel as light and breezy as you can. First side. One more. Come back into parallel. Bend. Out to one side. Bend and stretch. Keep the heels on the floor as best you can. And here, heel on the floor. Float upwards. And take one more rise. See how you go. Maybe one hand off the chair. over Lake Burley Griffin Woo. to land very gently down by the Arboretum. How wonderful. I feel so light now. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I'm flying. Thank you, Jackie. Beautiful, beautiful exercise. Well, let's continue our journey. And for this dance now, we are going to play with an improvised uh, dance that um, requires a bit of fantasy. Between me and Jackie, we will be calling out some kind of ways of being transported or transportation. And you are welcome to copy us or to modify the movement to your version. Yeah? So with the, this song, Shirocco, which is a wind, we will be transported away with movements such as this one. For example, we can be airplanes, maybe with one wing, and maybe with the other. We might be, I don't know, driving a car and maybe going fast and using pedals or changing gears, maybe have more than one gear. We can be creative as much as we want. We might be, what, ice skating? Or maybe we might be skiing, you know, downhill. Or maybe cross country. Maybe we like that one, who knows? We might be riding horses. Or we might be floating like above uh, the wind, so we might become the wind, and any other type of dance. So just follow along. I'll start, I'll call out my movement, and then Jackie will call out hers, and back and forth until the end of the song. So enjoy, make your own version of the movements, and just have fun again. Thank you. We have music. Great, feel the air, one wing, airplane, shoo. other wing, two wings, move the torso as much as you feel like, and to Jackie. Okay, now we're going to go sailing, wow. so imagine that you're on a yacht and you're taking your weight as far away from the centre of it as you can, holding on to that rope. Time to tack. Duck your head so the boom's going to come across <laughs> the other side. You don't want to get hit with the boom. Oh, this one. Whoa. Oh, and the wind's become a little lighter now, so you can just paddle your feet over the edge. And back to you, Deborah. Yeah, let's jump into a racing car. Oh. Yeah, fast. We'll steer the wheel and on the side and change gears. Fast, yeah. Or calm in the countryside. Who says you have to go fast? You enjoy it, you see the landscape. And back to Jackie. So we're going to get 
on a horse. Okay, let's jump into a canoe and breathe in. Once more. Two hands on one side. Push the water. Push. Other side. Push. Push. And back to you, Jackie. Oh, I think there's ice skating. got as wild as we did. <laughs> very, very good. Okay, well, let's move on. Ah, okay, now we're going to go on a train ride. Awesome. So we're going to go on the Marrakesh Express. That sounds All exciting. All the way from Casablanca to Marrakesh. So if you'd prefer to do a sitting version, please be with Deborah on her train ride. Otherwise, come to standing and come behind your chair. Again, we'll use the chair for support. So we're starting just walking and going down as low as you possibly can and coming back up again. That's for the introduction. I'm just going to move this side for a moment so you can see. I'm going to take three steps and turn a quarter of a turn. One, two, three. Then the leg that's furthest away from the chair, take it forward, back to, oh, no, just take it forward and then side, and back, and side, and then back to the front. So behind the chair, if I go to the other side now, it looks like one, two, three, go forward, go side, go back, go side, and one, two, three. The first time we do that, we'll do right or one side, the other side, one side, the other side. Another movement, we take the leg out to the side, I'm going to cross it behind. Deborah might want to cross hers in front, just makes it a bit easier on the chair. And side and in. Up, side and cross. And side and in. We have four walks on the spot. After that one, we'll do a slide back with a foot and come in. If I turn sideways so you can see, I'm swishing my foot on the floor, bending my torso forward, holding onto the chair, and come back in and slide and come in. Right, those wheels again, going round and round. And we have a little bit of a bell movement. So take one leg out to the side and bring it underneath you and the other one. We only do this once in the song, but we have four legs slow and then a little faster one just to bring ourselves back to balance. So you're ready for an exotic train ride? We Here are. We Let's do it. Thank you. And we're walking. Going low. And get ready. Three walks. One, two, three. Side. Back. Side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Of your lifted leg. Just those little ones. Three walks. 
hope you're enjoying we are approaching the final part of this session and for this one we will have Jackie provided providing a seated version whereas I will be more standing but also seating so uh, I will be calling out different uh, matters of transportation it could be again the car the canoe the ice skating the horse riding and the boat for example but in this case we are going to play with being standing and using the chair as much as you need for your stability yeah or your balance or just using the chair as your point of reference and move around in your space yeah so uh, yeah I think we should just give it a go and follow me and if you want to get inspiration from my movement copy me copy Jackie or again make your own version so here we are let's go with this improvisation and what's the music for this one Deborah? well for this one it should be Shiroko yeah all right awesome Shiroko is a wind by the way a wind. yeah so again airplanes maybe one wing sit again and car driving press your pedals move your gears driving up Ooh, the hill or down and wherever you are freeze for a moment change we become a boat how about transferring the weight side by side, nice and gentle on the water? Or go in on the sea with big, big travels all around? Or maybe pulling ropes down on the boat? And if you need, use the chair close to you. 
perfect timing. Perfect timing. Awesome. Well done. Take a seat if you need and have a bit of a rest. Excellent. Well, here we are. I think that brings us to the end of our first chapter of traveling to all sorts of amazing places. Yeah. Via all sorts of really interesting means. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find over the course of the next few weeks. Yes, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. All right, so come back to your chair and we'll do one final dance as something of a cool down. So feel your feet on the floor. We've got Nora Jones inviting us to come away with her. Feel the length of your spine. Even though you're supported on the chair, feel long and light. Thank you. Begin to undulate through your spine. As we do when we're all here in the studio together. Let's give ourselves a clap. Yes. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Come back next week and we'll have some more variations and maybe a few different songs in there as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, this video is available to keep looking at in between this one and the next one. So have a lovely week and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.